All right, let's talk about Cooper Rush in kind of the unique scenario we've seen him. And there's been some people pushing a quarterback controversy. I figured let's give a review of what he does well and what he does not so well, why he's been successful as a Cowboys quarterback, but also maybe some of the issues. And in fact, I think a lot of the good and bad from Cooper Rush can be summed up on this one play. You can, you know, turn off the video after this play if you want to, because this is going to be a lot of it. So the way this concept works is it's zone coverage that they're going up against. And they essentially, simple concept, but basically the simplest, uh, most simplistic way to describe it is you have three different eligible receivers running three different uh, depths down the field one running deep one running kind of uh, in the middle area like 15 yards is where he'll be cutting and then one running underneath and the idea is with only two Giants players who are kind of all the way over to the left side of the field wherever there is not a giant player that's where you throw the ball to look cooper rush takes a snap he you know they run a play action that i'm not sure what how much that worked but you still look down the field and right here basically you can clearly tell the correct read is the underneath throw and that's i think what cooper rush has done a very good job at so far for dallas is just running the offense knowing what you're supposed to do knowing where you go with the football and making the throw accordingly now his throw is too high so that's the negative is he missed some throws his arm talent is not what Dak Prescott's arm talent is and Dak Prescott isn't even you know known for elite arm talent he has good arm talent but this is kind of the the good and the bad of Cooper Rush is he will you know put, put, put the ball uh, to the right player he will if you're playing Madden hit the correct button on the controller but the throw still might be off however now let's go over to this play because that might not necessarily be a total bad things so what's happening here is it's once again zone coverage and once again they have a concept designed to beat zone coverage where first the receiver who was lined up to the Dallas Cowboys right is going to be running a go route just trying to push the safety deep that's all he's doing here and so when this play develops the other route that you saw on the screen is about to get open because you know safety has been pushed deep there's no one really taking that away except for the players who are underneath and this is where you hope that Cooper Rush can make this throw now it's a bit tough because he does have to get it over the linebackers. You're going to see him make the throw, you know, too far over the linebackers, nearly too far over his intended target, but not too far over his intended target. His intended target still made the catch. And that's kind of the thing is sometimes you would rather have a quarterback who's going to hit the right guy, even if they won't hit them 100% of the time, even if they will miss throws, because that wasn't a perfect throw, but it was still a completion because it was open enough. And also going over here, to be honest, when I watched this tape, I didn't think that he was a product of the Cowboys offense just making stuff happen in fact I thought the opposite sometimes I thought that guys were letting him down and this is an example where it's going to be a cover one man play so a lot of times what you do in these situations is you look towards the sidelines there's only one safety deep he can't cover the entire field so potentially you can get a chunk play deep down the field towards the sideline kind of outside the numbers and look at how when Rush takes the snap and looks to his right this isn't really that open, and there is pressure coming, so Rush can't really get all, his all into the throw. However, it's still going to be a very good throw, very accurate throw, and probably should have been caught for a huge gain on that one. That's a good play by Cooper Rush, and this happened a decent amount. This is not one isolated scenario. I saw this a decent amount when watching his tape, and so I definitely think that to some degree, there was an element of the Cowboys offense letting him down, and so that's, again, uh, more optimism there. This plays another good one where what's going to happen is it's a, uh, you know, two receivers on his right are running those routes that you see on the screen. It's, again, same defensive concept, so only single safety deep. Getting a chunk play here is you know something that's possible look at how when rush runs this play action he looks down the field and first he's looking over the middle but that route's not really open he sees this and he doesn't love it and for good reason it doesn't appear to be that open so instead rush just goes to his next read and makes the throw there again running the offense well reading the play figuring out who's open and hitting the correct player that's what you want to see him do and that's what he's been successful at doing now let's go over to this one it's again going to be kind of a a similar situation but this is the one other thing i've noticed about cooper rush again arm talent he's not going to wow you no one's com confusing him with patrick mahomes there's certainly no denying that but uh you know there's one thing that i noticed that he does very well and a lot better than plenty of starting quarterbacks so the way this play works is it's the route that i've circled in white that's what he's going to eventually be looking towards rush takes the snap rush is waiting for it to develop but right here he's in throwing motion but he's about to get hit i mean he again he cannot step into this throw he's going to be hit right after he makes this throw the 
receiver is getting open. I mean, this is one of those where it's not an, an anticipatory throw, even though you're throwing before your receiver gets to his spot, because you can just tell due to the leverage, he's about to get open. You can just, you know, just by looking at it, you can see there's enough separation there, but you have to be able to make this throw now. The issue, of course, is that he's under pressure. And these are situations that a lot of quarterbacks really struggle with. But sometimes the way to be successful is to not struggle at this. But as you see, Rush is able to, you know, while getting hit, make this throw. And again, nothing I talk about is just a one isolated scenario. If I just see one play and I haven't seen it other elsewhere, I, I'll bring it up. Uh, if I do put it in a video, typically I only bring something up if I saw it multiple times. And I did with this one. He throws the ball while getting hit very effectively and this is just one of the things that Cooper Rush can bring to a team that you know if you need a quarterback that's potentially what he can do now there is the other question right uh some people have brought up the quarterback controversy to me there is no controversy at least not yet Prescott is the better quarterback I think it's pretty clear because I think Prescott can pretty much do everything Rush can do in terms of running the offense, but Prescott has better arm talent. Prescott is a better athlete, so you're basically getting a worse version of Prescott if you uh, you know, go with Cooper Rush, at least from what I've seen so far. I think Rush has still played well, though. I mean, again, these are both, I think, you know, Prescott's clearly a good quarterback, and uh, Rush is playing Good. So I think that that's kind of where, I, you know, I can understand why, again, uh, nothing gets clicks quite like a quarterback controversy is why I'm making this video, because I know that it's something that people are just going to be interested in hearing about. But there's no denying that, uh, you know, I don't think he's quite been perfect enough yet to make him be the starter. But again, played well, played solid. And I definitely think it's it's exciting to watch what he's been able to accomplish so far. And, you know, talking less about the quote-unquote quarterback controversy and talking more about the, uh, you know, j just uh, what he can do for the Cowboys down the stretch, I think it means that, you know, they have a legitimate chance when, I, you know, at first when Prescott was out, we kind of said, eh, Cowboys pretty much have no chance. But Rush has come in, he's played well, he's done just enough to allow them to win a couple football games. I think he could do just enough to have them potentially win another football game or two. And if he can do that, that could be all they need until Prescott gets back. But that's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.